has at least one great story. So my name is Michael Burns. Thank you for the introduction. I'm very happy to be here. I'm from the US. <laughs> but I have been living now in Mumbai for the last uh, four years. And I'm the director of this organization called uh, Tall Tales. And like was said, we are the longest running live storytelling event series in all of India, actually. Um, and what we do at Tall Tales is through classes and through performances, we investigate uh, what goes into an amazing story. So whether the story is fiction or, or nonfiction. So fiction and nonfiction stories have enough in common that we can talk about where they overlap. But for me, and since I'm here, I guess I can represent myself. For me personally, my passion lies most deeply in nonfiction personal stories. So these are the stories that make up the moments of who we really and truly are and who we dream about being. So as much as I respect uh, the world of our imaginations and fairy tales and grandmother spider and all of those traditions, uh, for today, I would like to put those on hold and just focus only on live, um, only on personal uh, storytelling. And to me, one of the most important factors that goes into telling a great story. And that's something called uh, conviction. So conviction is one of those funny words where we hear it a lot, but I think that if we had time to go around and talk to everybody here, I think we would probably come up with a different definition of what that word actually means. But to me, there are four central components of conviction. And that's passion, strength, determination, and belief. So, um, so I think it was four weeks ago now, five weeks ago, I was invited to participate in this event. And uh, Mumbai has a way of kind of sucking you in and <laughs> never letting you leave. And so any opportunity to talk about storytelling outside of Mumbai, I was excited about taking it. And um, so I started to develop what I want to talk about. And conviction is one of my favorite topics. So I chose this. And just a few days after that, I was sent the, the theme for the day. Um, be yourself, and, and, and the world will, will uh, We'll catch up, we'll follow, we'll adjust. And I couldn't believe it because it was almost literally word for word the same thing that I talk about when I talk about conviction. And I'm going to explain why. So um, in addition to so about every three weeks or so in, in Mumbai, we have storytelling classes. And I give these uh, classes and workshops and things like that for authors, script writers, uh, teachers, all kinds of people. And in addition to teaching these courses, I also like to attend seminars and classes myself for a variety of reasons. One of them being that I just like to keep my tools sharp. And the other most important reason is that the world of storytelling is so huge, but I feel like I have so much that uh, I, I would still like to learn. And at a recent workshop that I was at, uh, the facilitator, everything was lovely. I was learning lots of things. And the facilitator said something that caught my attention. She said one of the most important factors in storytelling is conviction. And this is when I started to look up, because I also believe the same thing. And here's what she said next. She said that conviction is vitally important to telling a great story. If you are one of those people that has a lot of energy and natural enthusiasm, then you're in luck, because this is what you need in order to connect with an audience. But if you're the type of person who's more insular, <laughs> quieter, you need to be able to find an inner reserve inside you to crank up the energy and the intensity. So maybe if you're a level three on a scale of one to 10, um, you need to find a way to crank it up to 10 or crank it up to 11 in order to be an effective storyteller. This was very interesting to me because I actually believe the complete opposite uh, of that. I believe that storytelling is in our collective DNA. And what I mean is that storytelling is our special talent uh, as a species. So um, it may be, we don't know for sure, it may be the one thing that separates our species from the rest of the creatures on Earth, in fact. The ability to use language, to zoom around through space and time, to tell an amazing story, and to imagine the impossible. It actually, and when I was in the workshop hearing this, it actually broke my heart to hear the facilitator say this to the group because what she was saying is that uh, to be a great storyteller, you have to have a, a, a booming voice or you have to have um, 
uh, uh, palpable intensity and you have to maybe move your hands in certain gestures or something like that. You don't need to do that uh, to be effective. This is not to say that you can't get better at storytelling. You absolutely can get better, but what it does mean is that there is not one right way to tell a story. There are actually multiple right ways uh, to tell a story. We all have the inherent ability to share, to communicate, and to change the course of another person's life by bearing our souls. We are already born great storytellers. We just have to take flight. And sometimes we might need a flying lesson or two before starting. So conviction doesn't mean raising the volume of your voice. And it certainly doesn't mean wild arm gestures and things like that while you're speaking. Um, in fact, conviction is not even something physical. Conviction is a, something that comes from deep uh, inside. And conviction actually means showing that you believe in your story. In order to believe in your story, you have to know one important thing, which is who you are. If you know who you are and your strengths, and you can tell your story through that lens, then your story is automatically filled with all of the intangibles. <laughs> your, 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 your story is automatically filled with genuine emotion, sincerity, all of those factors that make a story effective. That's actually what the audience is connecting with, and that's what conviction is. So if you are the type of person that is uh, quieter and maybe more thoughtful, then your conviction will be colored with that brush. If you're something, somebody that's more serious, for example, then your conviction will be uh, reflect that. And of course, if you are the lucky person who's born with the enthusiasm and energy, then your conviction will reflect that as well. There is another extremely important aspect to uh, conviction that's worth mentioning, which is that conviction is contagious. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is just like if you were to tell a story without conviction, Audiences have a very good way of picking up on that. People can tell that something uh, is off and something is not right. Thankfully, the flip side is true. If you can tell a story with passion and with conviction, the audience can actually sometimes feel it. And I mean literally, viscerally, like the way that we get goosebumps when we hear an amazing uh, story. You've been able to turn your audience from passive listeners, passive receivers of a story, into people who are imagining what life is like in your shoes. When that starts to happen as a storyteller, you're on very special territory, um, and amazing things are possible. So telling a great story with conviction means believing in it, of course. But there is actually a deeper level uh, that's worth mentioning. Conviction requires honesty. So that means finding the ability within you to share your greatest victories, but also your greatest fears. Now, why is that important? For one simple reason, that deep honesty is one of the secret weapons to any great story, to an unforgettable story. I often tell people at uh, Tall Tales that uh, we specialize in stories and not speeches, which is funny because here I am being asked to make a speech. Um, and there is, in my opinion, there's an important difference between the two. It's very easy for us to talk about the things we do well in life. So even sometimes when it's against the odds, you know, so maybe one, maybe you talk about one time swimming across an icy river where you thought you'd never survive, or, um, Maybe you're talking about graduating when everybody in your family told you that you might fail or something like that. These are wonderful and they are very inspirational. But this is the stuff of speeches. Why? Because for the most part, not all, but for the most part, speeches are about uh, victories. Stories, on the other hand, an effective and a great story, a story you'll never forget, is almost always about failure. Now, of course, what you learn from that failure is in there somewhere, and all of that is extremely important. But the effectiveness of a story essentially boils down to how deep you were willing to go about what you did wrong, rather than 
what you did right. And this is very hard to do. It's not easy. The reason, maybe, because it's so hard, that's the reason why a story can linger with you all day, or if it's great, all week, if it's amazing, all month, and maybe even uh, for the rest of your life. So, conviction is not a box that you tick as a storyteller. Okay, so like, I got done that, I did this, got to add the conviction. It's not like that. It's actually a mentality that washes over everything uh, that you do. It's an approach that says to your audience that I'm going to put myself out there for you to see, uh, warts and all, to learn from, to be inspired by, maybe to be entertained by, and to connect with. Conviction reminds us that any memorable story is never about a list of things that you did, about facts and figures, or about dates and places. A memorable story is about emotion and the moments of connection that are possible when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable. Yes, the, the recipe is complicated. And um, even if you take to heart everything that I said, it's still possible sometimes to misfire uh, with a story. But if you have conviction in your back pocket, then you always have uh, an indispensable weapon at your disposal. And to me, knowing that makes you one step closer uh, to a story worth spreading. Thank you.